here on this channel, we're looking at the inner child, but we're looking at ways that we can connect with our whole selves. So my parts workers, PA art workers, I invite you now to come and doodle with me as I doodle to connect to my whole self holding my inner child. And I'm going to add that quote that's so important to me that I want to reference back to in my art journal. Doodling can help to connect to our inner world. And how does that happen? So when we are overwhelmed, when we're in a state of anxiety, when we're feeling depressed, we go into a sympathetic arousal or we go into a dorsal vagal, which is like a shutdown, either completely overwhelmed emotionally or shut down. And with that, it can be really difficult to find words to describe what's going on for us. And so what doodly can do is it can help us to start to awaken the body by adding just a little bit of texture to a page, adding a little doodle person to a page, or even just a little bit of scribbling. We can start to feel like we're connecting inside. The neurons are starting to wake up and we're starting to awaken our deeper selves, our whole self. It can feel really difficult and very scary when you don't have words to describe what's going on inside of you. This can happen for numerous reasons. It can happen if there's any kind of developmental trauma, if there's um, abuse, if there's emotional neglect, if there's domestic violence, if you lived in a war situation, if there was any kind of discrimination or racism. It can also happen if there's something going on inside like a traumatic brain injury or if there's a learning disability. Like for the example with my daughter, there's a seizure disorder. And so finding different ways to communicate was important in our family. But it was also important in my work as a trauma therapist. So I often discuss what came first, my work with trauma clients or my daughter. Both came about the same time and I was studying one and I found that it would help with the other and then I'd study for my daughter and I'd find that it would help with my clients. So what it came to tell me is that we're all more alike than we are different and we all really need to find a way to be able to be seen and to be able to see ourselves inside and to attach to those places that have been hiding in the shadows that we have disconnected from because there was no space for them before. No one could see them. And so we learned not to see them. So for today, I'm doodling a quote that has been very meaningful to me personally, but I also feel like it might resonate too for you in your work with your inner child. So it comes from the book Reconciliation by Thich Nhat Hanh. It's this little book here. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. It's a lovely book. As you can see, mine is earmarked like all over the place and it's got writing all over it. This one I just checked through, it doesn't have doodles in it. A lot of my books have doodles in it. But this is the quote and I'm also gonna write it on the doodle page. 
Go back and take care of yourself. Your body needs you. Your perceptions need you. Your feelings need you. The wounded child in you needs you. Your suffering needs you to acknowledge it. Such a beautiful quote for the inner child, but actually for our whole inner world, helping us to remember that we're still in here, all the different pieces that needed to be separated, to needed, needed to go into the shadows or to be detached from in order to survive a situation or childhood. And now is the time when we go back to weave those pieces, weave that feeling back in to our whole self so that we're not running from it and it's not continuing to materialize in our lives, in our relationships, in our work, in all of our being. And we can be free once and for all. And we can have reconciliation. As we look at the last line of Thich Nhat quote here for this reconciliation. Your suffering needs you to acknowledge it. It's like I think many of us have just waited for someone else to see us because that was the original wound. The original wound of that inner child was not being seen, not being helped with the feelings and so needing very much to be seen and acknowledged. And that's often what happens in therapy is that you start to feel like you're being seen by someone, maybe often for the first time. And as that happens, then you learn about co-regulation and how when you have big feelings, you can start to feel safe in the presence of a safe other being as they're talking to you.